Good evening, tasters. Neville here again. This is part three of my top 12. And again, I preface it with the remarks that this is the top 12 of my collection that I can afford. Most of which is under $100, but there's a few that are over. Anyway, tonight I start with number six. And again, it's back to America. And this is the wild turkey rare breed. Now, the first time I tasted this whiskey, I was actually stunned. This is a barrel proof whiskey. And it says quite clearly on the label, 54.1% alcohol. And yet, for all of that alcoholic power, it is very smooth. And it has a really powerful lifted nose that's got a vanilla and mainly from the American oak and quite a bit of pepper. Now, there you are. At 54.1, it's certainly lifted and big in the mouth, but there's no heat, no burn. It is stunning. I can't believe a whiskey of that strength to be able to go down so smoothly. I've got quite a few overproof whiskies here, and most of them I have to dose up with water. This is a particularly complex, full-bodied bourbon. Its dark colour shows age. It doesn't actually have an age statement, but I reckon this has had quite a bit of time in barrel. It's a long, warming, nutty finish. This is a whisky to be savoured. If you haven't tried it, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, and I checked today, and it's still well under $100 here in Australia. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, number six. Moving on now to number five, which is the Bowmore 15 year old darkest. It does say sherry cask finish, and it comes from Islay. I love the Bowmore whiskies. They're peated, but the peat is in lovely balance. And this one is no different. Beautiful colour. It, it says on the bottle, darkest, and this is a really dark, obviously sherry-influenced whisky, 15-year-old. Oh, that is gorgeous. Full-flavoured, salivating stuff. The succulent sherry, lush fruit, a little bit of wood spice, and there's that balanced peat that just lingers in a long, lovely finish. I've got six Bowmores, and this is definitely the best of them, but the others are very handy as well. I once used to own an 18-year-old, but that's ancient history now, but it was great stuff. Bowmore, 15 year old, darkest, my number five. Now to number four. On the label here it says, The Gentle Spirit. This is Dalwini, 15 year old. Now, if you'd like to listen to a more complete report on this, I reviewed this in Nightcap Note number 31. Dalwini, 15-year-old. 
And I always think of it as the honey malt. And as I said in my review, I have always had a bottle of this in my collection. When my collection was only 10 whiskies, I had a bottle of Dalwhinnie. Now that it's around the 200 mark, I still have a bottle of Dalwhinnie. And this one gets replaced before anything else. This is a great whisky. and honey is the definite winner. There's also a heather type character, but it's clean, some nuttiness evident, it's long and balanced, and it's, it's just a great whiskey. One of my great regrets is that the day we drove past Dalwini, it was closed. I wish I'd have been able to visit. I'm sure I would have enjoyed myself that day. Dalwini, 15 year old, my number four. And this exercise concludes next week. Cheers. That's beautiful stuff.